<laughs> Greetings from the Eerie is Mad Shad and Charity. Uh, she's enjoying a bone right now, so uh, uh, not to be disturbed. Uh, she was, I was getting a little nervous getting getting a picture there. She's you're going to be hearing her huffing and grunting throughout the <laughs> throughout this video. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, yeah. There's a uh, that's our our status right now. Uh, yeah, today's a good day. Tier vigi me tier bless. May you find victory in battle. Mm. On this wonderful Tuesday, beautiful day. It's like seventy something degrees here in Northeast Ohio, uh, in Cleveland. Um, yeah, it's a good day. Tell you about those who didn't have a good day. Those Americans that are trapped in Afghanistan, left there by traitor to his militia slash and competent regime. And at least we forget, thirteen servicemen and women died. Abigail, Kabul, Afghanistan, U.S. military. Along with 200 poor souls, 300 plus people lost arms and legs and limbs, things that don't go back. A lot of them service members as well. Uh, not to mention uh, some other countries as well, military. Every day, never forget, and never forget whose fault this is. Deploy knife hands. <laughs> but there was hope. Folks getting them out. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pine Pole, Project X, Project Donald Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. Hmm. <laughs> She's enjoying that shit. Just got to pick it up, move over here, pick it up, move over here. Arr, 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 arr. Pick it up, throw it over here. Arr, arr, arr. You know, put a foot on it. Arr, arr, arr. Right? You know, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Anyway, uh, and least we forget that uh, 800, not 800 plus individuals are still incarcerated over the J6 tobacco hell. There's political prisoners without sentencing, without bail, torture, solitary confinement, conditions. Someone lost an eye. There have been suicides. Every day, never forget, and never forget whose fault this is. And yes, definitely, deployed more knife hands. <laughs> Make it stick. Mm. But there's hope. Thousands of people, family, friends, loved ones, charitable organizations, law firms do a pro bono work. Even as senators, congressmen, representatives, judges, former president, soon to be president, and Supreme Court getting into the fray. Yes. Mm. Meanwhile, wow. Uh, meanwhile, uh, this election is is bigger than you know. This MAGA movement, make America great again, is bigger than you know. How so? Look to London, London, England, where tens of thousands of people got together and put on put on colorful uh, patriotic uh, gear. I'm talking patriotic. Y'all, you think we're patriotic? They're patriotic. All right. The English are patriotic. They love their history. They love their traditions. They love their, their country. Uh, and it's all about the Union Jack or whatever. Uh, and it's just, everybody's wearing it. Not that, not only that, but also MAGA. I mean, there's, there's Trump supporters everywhere. Make MAGA, uh, make American great hats again. And the, you know, the flags are flying. They, they were flying flags, like monstrous flags. I mean, you know, these things were like 50 feet up in the air, you know, and they're just marching down the street all the way to Parliament in London. It was amazing, awesome, amazing to see. You know, everybody's just wearing, wearing everything. But they have their own movement, MEGA. Yes, Make England Great Again. That's right, Mate, Make England Great Again, MEGA, M-E-G-A. Uh, obviously inspired by, uh, uh, by Trump, you know, uh, by the MAGA. And uh, excuse me. Whew, man, I just had a massive sneeze. Uh, so I had to pause for a second. <laughs> so yeah, amazing, amazing, just, just massive amounts of people, you know. And and yeah, they're they're tired of the mass immigration. They're they're tired of the two tier uh, justice system. You know, they have a two tier justice system, kind of like ours. You know, but uh, worse. Theirs is a lot worse. Uh, if you're if you're a a, uh, a a citizen of the country, you know, uh, then uh, if you say anything wrong about the new the new neighbors coming in and and creating crime, right? Uh, I mean, absolutely, crime has went up three hundred percent in uh, in in England. In in yeah, it's it, all over, all over, uh, Scotland, Ireland as well. You know, it just amazing. You know, these these folks coming in, they don't give a fuck. Matter of fact, they're given car blanche, because if they if uh, not too much, not too long ago there was a 
I, I can't quote the, it was in my community page, but um, 300 or so new neighbors, Aloha Smack Bar, uh, were caught in a, how can I say this couthly, uh, a boy band, uh, no, they call it what it is, a grooming gang. They called it what it is, a grooming gang. And these these men who uh, have asylum-seeking status were literally uh, brought into the country on planes, given paychecks, given given a, a UBI, given a free places to live, given given money to go shopping, all those things. Uh, they were uh, um, they were they were uh, amassing a lot of boys uh, for their um, for nefarious purposes, right? Uh, hundreds, I mean, uh, hundreds if not thousands of them. They, they don't know. Yeah. But uh, they did arrest them, and they did try them, and then they let them go. Some of them did. They, they kept some. You know, you got to keep some to put in jail. But the rest, eh, go, go, go away. Shh, shh, shh. And yeah, exactly. Nothing was said. Nothing on the social medias. Nothing on the news networks. Nothing, no, not even a... When asked, I mean, if 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 the, uh, the the municipalities and the authority were asked about it, they're like, mm, eh, no comment. Uh, we're moving on. We're moving forward. Really, R- really. You don't think that's a fucking problem? <laughs> you really don't think that's a fucking problem? Oh no, but that it's not a problem because if you know Miss uh, Miss uh, Judy Rickenbacker. Uh, who's who's been there for you know in that country and and lived and worked and never had never had a so much as a spe- speeding ticket, right? it has been working at the same company for forty years. Uh, if she gets on social media and says, "Hey, we need to do something about these these grooming gangs," boom, she goes to jail. Bam. Yeah. Don't collect two hundred dollars. Go directly to jail. Eighteen months, whatever. Just because she made a a, a a Facebook post, she made a video where she said, "Hey, I don't agree with this." Really? That's the problem. That's the problem. Miss Judy Rickenbacker, or I don't know. I don't. I don't know English names. So, you know, uh, but you know, she's the problem. Not the grooming gangs, huh? Not the new neighbors? No, they're not the problem. So, yeah, the two-tier system. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they if, if, in, they're roving bands of Aloha Snack Bar idiots running around just beating the fuck out of people. Rape women. Women. There, there's, there's a, there's a movement, uh, and it's going all over Europe. Uh, women are banding together because it is not safe for women to go out in public. Of any age. Do you understand that? Because the R word will happen. Regardless of what man is, is around. If their father is around, boom, they just whoop the ass of the father. And then they uh, gang R the woman. In broad daylight. Or take her around, you know, a, a back alley somewhere. There's, there's no safety anymore. Yet that's not the problem in England, huh? So, you see my point. Yeah. Uh, you see my point. And th- this is not just England. This is Scotland. This is Ireland. This is most of the European countries, especially the Western ones. Germany, Netherlands. But there's a pushback. The Netherlands, they push back. They, they're, they're ousting everybody. It, it, it appears, <laughs> it really does appear that the, uh, the NWOs and the EOs are uh, are on the ropes and they're doing the rope dope. Oh shit! Oh oh! And uh, folks are just not happy and they're not having it. A lot of a lot of these these uh, these reptilian folks are are you know slithering back underneath their rocks. Um, I just hope we we we. All you have to do is just follow the slimy trail and you'll find them. Uh, not to worry. <laughs> so if they ever if there ever is a a uh, um. A, a, a effort to uh, to bring those people to justice just follow the slithery trail <laughs> charity get it girl get it Arr! she is ripping the flesh off this bone <laughs> uh, 
there's some yummy marrow in there too. Let me see if I can get on this. Says, yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, come on. There you go. There's some beautiful ripping action. Oh, yeah. Get some. Get some, Charity. Ra. She's like, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> I'm in my... <laughs> I'm in my element. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's there's the there's that there's, um, uh, Africa. I mean, man, Africa. Uh, they're they are done because what's been going on in Africa, um, has been a a Marxist movement for quite some time. I, I didn't realize it when I went there. There was a Marxist movement going on. That's what I was there for. You know these these uh, these roving bands of idiots, and you know uh, we're trying to bring about a Marxist movement, uh, and yeah, they were they were they were in full on uh, subversion and insurrection from Russia, from China, and China has been there for quite some time doing this, uh, you know, um, you know, hey, infrastructure for. Uh, uh, for your soul, kind of thing, you know. Make a make a soul with the make make a deal with the devil, and we'll we'll build you infrastructure. What do you want? You want you want trains, planes, automobiles. You want roads. You want all these things. Yeah, we'll just build it for you. But when we ask for something in return, mm, right? Uh, and so it was a deal with the devil, with the China's Chinese, and the people were just like, you know what? Screw that. <laughs> screw that. Screw you. Uh, screw your UBI. Screw your D CBDC. Uh, they, 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 if, because their money, they're like, uh, especially, um, case in point, Uganda, uh, I forgot the other, Nigeria, uh, they, they were, they were replacing their money, their, their, their sovereign money with a CBDC, which was linked right back to China, um, and, uh, the, the, the central banks, I, you know, world central banks, right? Bricks, uh, you know, China. This is, this is part of the China holding group, I guess you could say. Um, but they were pushing back. They said, no, screw you. Screw you and your money because it has a lot of uh, a lot of strings attached. Yeah. Uh, and so we're just going to go with our own money. We're going to make it. We're going to go with Bitcoin or we're going to make up our own cryptocurrency. And that's what they've been doing. And it's a pushback. And they're like, oh, no, what? Uh, and, of course, we all know how Africa does it. It ain't just a riot in the streets. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, <laughs> it's, it's uh, bust out the warlord. It's warlord time, you know, and uh, it's, it's time to, you know, get the machetes out and the AKs and, you know, RPGs and whatever. Uh, so that's, that's how they roll. Uh, <laughs> Got to love that. Um, so uh, th there's that. Uh, now, the, the one thing that we, we were seeing, too, in uh, the country of Georgia, right? They're, they're having a contested election. The, uh, the sitting president is refusing to, uh, uh, to acknowledge the results of the, uh, of the election. And so he is going to pay, stay in power. So what happens is hundreds of thousands of people take to the streets and rah 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 and then of course you've got two sides you got your pro government side and you got your pro uh, your anti government side uh, oddly enough the uh, it was a woman that won and she is kind of a un kind of standing i, I i'm not sure you have to look into that but uh, they they did like her they they really did like her and so um there's a lot of shit going on there so kind of sort of Possibly what you could see in our future, perhaps. I mean, you know, I don't know. Uh, uh, Poland. Oh man, Poland. I mean, they, they. Well, you know, they've got they've got the the prime minister there that is just a badass. You know, he is, and they're being beset on all sides uh, by Russia, and they, they, of course, they're pushing that replacement migration. Uh, they literally have fights and people dying uh, and killing each other on the borders. And they've said it. We will shoot you if you try to come across the board. I mean, because it's already been escalated. It, it, it was escalated. They, they built, they, they told them, no, you can't come through here. You got to go through the proper channels. Well, they just started coming anyway by the droves. You know, all of them, all, 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 all of them with the name of Aloha Snack Bar, right? And, you know, with the Aloha Snack Bar uh, uh, flag. 
And so they're like, no, we, that's just too much. Uh, go through the proper channels. Let's vet you and, you know, fill out all the paperwork. This is a slow, methodical process. Immigration should be, right? And so, no, that wasn't that wasn't good enough. So they uh, they 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 started, you know, attacking the border of Poland. Uh, Poland put up uh, fences and walls. They tore down the fences and walls. They started throwing rocks. They started throwing, uh, uh, you know, spears. They speared somebody and killed them. And they were like, "That's it. We're done. You come across this border, we're killing you." So it's a war. And there's there's been there, there's been literally. The tangos, all right. The tangos are there. They're operating in the woods. They're they're amassing people. There there there's communications going on. There's there's an effort. There's a a a uh, a, a supply line. There, it's it's a freaking army as on their borders of Poland. And Poland is like, whoa, no, we're done. No, you're done. You're not coming in here. You can't come in here. You can't do it. You try. We're gonna blast your ass, right? Um, so, so many, so many cases like this. Uh, I'd like to see more from uh, Isra- uh, Australia. Uh, Australia is being a little bit more, uh, shall we say, shall we say, clandestine uh, about their uh, about the people's efforts. Uh, but but they are they are doing things. They are doing things. They're, they're doing <laughs> they're doing it the Australian way. So uh, you know, <laughs> hats off to you guys. Uh, no worries, mate. She won't be all right, right? Uh, and so Canada, Canada, same thing. You've got so much going on there. Uh, but, you know, of course, we know Canadians are polite as fuck. Whoa, look at this guy. Oh, did I get him? No. Uh, <laughs> and they're, they're doing their part, too. And, and so you've got all these these uh, these NWOs and EOs, elite occultists, uh, and, and pedos and chomos just running for the fences. Uh, Jeff Bezos uh, here in this country, Jeff Bezos has said, no, I'm not going to endorse any candidates because that's not the way it's supposed to be. Jeff Bezos, a, a fucking elitist, a, an elitist, one of the elitists of the elitists. He's all about bringing about the uh, uh, the initiatives, uh, you know, the UN initiatives and things of that nature. You know, he, he, uh, he, he likes to say he is a terra, terra mara, terra firma, ter- whatever, whatever. He's a citizen of the, the sea or some bullshit. Whatever they say, wherever the sea touches, that's that's where they live, right? That's where they have rain and solvent over. Uh, fuck them. Uh, <laughs> I go fishing there, you know. <laughs> ah, Charity's relocating once again. All right, breathing really hard. She's she's working. She's working. Get some, girl. Anyway, uh, let's see, where was I? Uh, uh, man, uh, Trump in uh, Madison Square Gardens. Uh, the mayor himself, the mayor himself called it out, called out, because everybody's calling, you know, this, this rally some kind of hate rally or whatever, you know. It's, it's, the, whole, it's the whole thing, you know, the whole gaslight. It's, it's, it's right out of the Marxist, uh, cook, you know, Marxist cookbook, you know, and uh, Rules for Radical Sauce for Linsky's, you know, just, just, just twist everything. Uh, even AOC was like, it's a, it's a rally of hate. <laughs> I mean, it's, if you've ever been to a Trump rally or ever seen a Trump rally, there, there, it is a multinational, multicultural, multi just positive love kind of thing going on. High energy. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing the, the, the way that people are coming together. And we're, we're tired of this bullshit. We're tired of being fed lies and and <laughs> and, and the suggestions uh, that that this uh, this new world order wants to wants us to believe because we're not fucking that stupid. So I have such high hope, have such high hope for humanity, uh, and they're pushing back. They are. They're pushing back. So even the mayor of New York was like, "No, uh, what's his name, Adam?" Uh, he's like, "No, this is not a Nazi rally. This is this is not you know a, a thing of hate and." You know, th- this is the beloved son. Well, he didn't say all that, but uh, he said that that you know, people were were calling him and condemning him for for allowing them to do this. Well, they they, they allow it's 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 Madison Square Gardens. You know, it's it, it, people come there, uh, you know, and they have shows and they. I mean, everybody's been there. I mean, it's the all the headliners and Trump is a headliner. Believe me, and I was like, so fill it up that. And then he filled up the streets. 
uh, with people, and it, it's you know it's one of those rallies. If you ever seen a Trump rally, they they go in there by the by the thousands, hundreds of thousands. Boom! It's a great time, and then they leave. They pick up their trash. Nothing's burned. Nothing's broken. Nobody died, right? Uh, you know the other side. You can't even get them to fucking come to a. There's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing. And they leave a trash, and and if and if they do lose their minds, you know, which they you know whatever they don't have one anyway, obviously. But uh, you know they 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 destroy the place. People are dead. You know they're we. You know, act. You know it's like a little crybaby. You know they they act a fool and break things and you know uh, just you know it's never a good time there. Uh, and there's always hate. So. It's it's got to be so tiring to hate, that much hate to live in that hate, hate and fear, fear and hate. That's that's all they have to control these people, and 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 of course stupidity, uh, you know, convincing them that relativism is the thing, you know. Anyway, uh, so we are seeing th this is not only the election uh, for for the uh, for the country, it's also the election for the world, because everyone is inspired by what we do, and. Everyone has been oppressed for so long by their own freaking tyrannical regimes. They're tired of it, you know. And we're not going to take it anymore. Because we are many. They are few. We do what we want. They do what they can. Which is lie, cheat, steal, corruption, you know, uh, and, and try to enslave us. And uh, No, we're not about that. You know, we, we want freedom. We want love. <laughs> we want our bones, all right. You know, I I want to I want to I want I want to give my dog a bone, okay? He's, she's not gonna get an insect bone, so let me see if I can get a big picture of her. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, get it, Charity. <laughs> she's like, that's enough. <laughs> oh man, destroying this thing is great. So anyway. Give a dog a bone. Yeah. So, yes. There we go. Um, go, Team Devil Dog. Go, Team Devil Dog. Fuck brain surgery. Oh, he is still recuperating from brain surgery. Please go to Devil Dog uh, Prepper. Like, sub, share, subscribe. Let's get that brother up to at least 500 uh, by the end of this uh, end of this month, which is in a few days. All right? And then well on to the thousands. He deserves it. So when he comes back from his uh, uh, recovery, that he can uh, he can just jump back into uh, uh, busting out that great content and doing all the things. Uh, so yes, it's Team Devil Dog, and go Team Linda, go Team Linda. Fuck cancer, uh, she is still fighting cancer, uh, kicking ass and taking names. She does not give up. There is no give up in her, none whatsoever. And uh, what's your excuse? What's my excuse? Hmm, good, good one, All right? Uh, so please keep. Keep Team Linda in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, and, uh, yeah, go Team Linda. And go Team Joe. Go Team Joe. Fuck addiction. Uh, he is still battling addiction. Uh, he is in a, still in a recovery uh, recovery center. Uh, he is having some financial issues. And he's got some health issues going on. Uh, but he's he's getting everything dialed in. Uh, and he's doing well. So uh, please go to Joe Morgan's channels. Like, sub, share, subscribe. Do all the things. Listen to her story. It's a very interesting story. Very good story. Um and uh, go Team Joe. So, this has been Mad Shad and Mad Charity <laughs> with her bone. <laughs> Every day, never forget. Bonus! More knife hands! Uh.